the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Don't focus on your success alone. You must trust God for grace to raise and reproduce your kind as much as possible number five the third key that ignites and preserves revivals across territories is influence hmm. god's people must rise to prominence so as to preserve the interest of the kingdom influence influence this is sadly a a part that has been neglected in the body of christ we believe in evangelism and growth and then someone just sits in the position of power and rubbishes all our prayer and fasting with one policy influence is very powerful influence that god's people must rise to prominence so as to preserve the interest of the kingdom acts chapter 18 from verse 9 and 10 if there's any one of you here who is fighting or rejecting influence i announce to you with every sense of love it is an attack don't reject influence it takes evangelism and influence to enthrone christ across the hearts of men and across territories acts 18 9 and 10 please look at this then speak the lord unto paul in the night in the night by vision be not afraid he said but speak and hold not thy peace why 11 10 for i am with thee and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee what is the advantage for i have much people in this city i have much people in this city there is a spirit that tries to bring an aberrated concept of holiness to mean you should ignore anything that elevates you to a position of notoriety in an attempt to show that you are serious with God. That may not be an accurate communication of the truth. I can tell you influence is powerful and influence is necessary. It's necessary for a preacher. It's necessary for an individual. The more you raise and have people of influence, the more the purposes of God given to you can be defended, especially in the wicked world that we live today. Someone can buy a land and another person can come just knowing that a church will be built there, can come and bully people away from the purposes of God. I believe in influence. I made up my mind as a man of God that by the privilege of God's grace, I will never only raise a people who love Jesus, as far as their spiritual commitment is alone i believe in influence that god will grant me grace to raise strategic people are we together strategic people people of influence a man of god wants to travel for a program they just cancel the visa and refuse and you are what, what are you a thief To step into the nation they harass you there again and you you face a plethora of embarrassment simply because of the what is influence can manage many things i'm telling you influence can create efficiency it can influence can work in partnership with the holy ghost to give you peace especially in a wicked world like this there are many prayers you will not need to pray influence can answer them I hope you believe what I'm saying. There are families that do not have anyone that God has risen. Whatever Satan wants to do with them, it just takes mercy. I believe in influence. 
and in the name of Jesus for everyone who has come here may it please the king pastor Nat said something very powerful the first song he was going to raise he said that he's found out that the more he lifts Jesus Christ and allows him to be glorified the more he gives him an opportunity I said that's it he got it and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men that one day you'll be sitting down and someone will call you that is the prayer request of many people they will say I want to see you and you will think they are scammers you say I really want to see you God has sent me to come to you can I tell you this there are gatekeepers across every system and when you can capture gatekeepers for Jesus you have captured the territories it is true do not reject influence it is powerful it is an effective tool for igniting and preserving revivals let me give us the last and then we'll pray are you ready for the sixth now an open display of love by the church an open display of love by the church the sixth way we ignite revival and preserve it is by an open display of love to the church by the church love beyond cultural biases love beyond religious biases Matthew chapter 5 and verse 45 it is important that we demonstrate the love of Jesus it says that ye might be children of your father which is in heaven for he maketh his son to rise on both the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust I remember there was a year we did something in Zaria after there was there was a crisis that happened within that period and we decided to do a peace concert and then we set up something and invited all the people whether you're a Christian or not just come it was a free medical outreach I was shocked and humbled almost in tears when I saw the amount of unbelievers women coming with their hijabs they would they now had a legitimate ground to enter the church they always wanted to but there seemed to be an unwritten thing saying stay out there now love is a language all men understand you don't need to be educated to understand love love is a language everyone understands and you could see the people crying bringing their children and i said oh dear an open display of love with no prejudices with no whatever it is we can't do everything but we can do something I'm telling you the truth there is evangelism that happens by love there is a way you can wrap the gospel wrap it so much and serve it with love in fact the Bible says love is the more excellent way of doing anything preaching by love is better than preaching singing with love is better than singing ministering the power of God with love is better than just ministering I show you the more excellent way hallelujah for most of us we score well on all the five points except love the moment someone comes and is not a Christian you almost kill the person and then if he says no 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 no, it's just my name that is implicating me I'm a child of God you suddenly change hypocritically and say oh really you are welcome and the person says no I've seen what I needed to see you are not a Christian times can i tell you there are many people today who need to come to the fold they may not listen to your gospel but try love and see the wonder working power of love everybody cannot do everything but everybody can do something that from where you are you can do something these six keys i have learned are the keys that control the ignition and the preservation of territorial revivals it is impossible for a territory that submits to these principles to remain barren of anything God you know it, it is almost it is almost like a norm 
that when the move of God comes, it just dies down and fades away. It fades away because the principles of its preservation have not been taught. The move of God can remain, for instance, heaven. For instance, heaven. There's never been a time in heaven when the purposes of God and God himself and Jesus' his son is not the central focus. Satan tried to bring all kinds of things and he was judged. If heaven can be that way, we can cross every territory and make it to be in the earth as it is in heaven. It's a painful thing for people to be in their old age, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and they look back and they see to they look at several parts of, of the world today places that were centers of revival some of them they've destroyed every monument everything god and they built all kinds of things may it never be that one day we will turn back and say we used to serve god we used to pray here abuja used to be a place where jesus was glorified uh -uh. What is my assignment tonight? To stand in partnership with the grace upon the man of God having discussed the subject of restoration, personal revival in the morning and now territorial revival. My assignment is to lead us to pray and to help us experience the life and the power of Jesus genuinely. Even if it is for one person to experience the reality of this Jesus so that you know that he's not a theoretical Jesus that you can be revived and refired tonight and you can leave this place knowing that the things that I believed are not cunningly devised fables but they are truth hallelujah I became tired of church I became tired of religion very sincere people but i would listen to preachers preach and i would watch people oppressed sick downcast dejected and they would so vocally talk about a jesus who could change things and in my innocence i would sit down and say god are you this difficult to reach your people there's something wrong the propositions that are given about you it tells that you are a benevolent God you are loving you can you are apt to reach down to people but what is responsible for that distance it led me to that pursuit days became weeks weeks became months and I said Lord I'm not looking to be a preacher all I want is your presence and answers to this I do not want to stand before people and not be able to give them an explanation as to why they are unable to see your power and i said lord whatever it would take please work on me i'm not in a hurry to move build me well so that i can do my best with the gift of this life you have given me to represent you so thoroughly this has been my call and i'm inviting you to stop nominal christianity average careless powerless christianity that cannot bring glory to the name of the Lord and contend for something genuine. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. There are still territories that are unreached. And they have been so frustrated, they hate anything Christianity. We need to bring the gospel of power once again to tell them Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus delivers. There are many people who have tried this Jesus thing for want of words and many of them are packing up a lot of things. After the pandemic, many people were not Christians again. They just said, you know what? I've been looking for a chance to hate Jesus officially. And now this pandemic gave me an opportunity 
and with flimsy excuses they justify their refusing the things of God you try to talk to people about Jesus oh, their lives are full of bitter and painful stories and they credit their pain to Jesus where was he when my loved one died where was he when my, my certificate has been lying like a piece of paper for decades I have prayed and cried for a job I have watched unbelievers use divination to get jobs and promotions let me announce to you that Jesus is alive let me announce to you that Jesus is still exalted ah he is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall be. Said, awake thou that sleepest and Christ will give you life let me speak to someone that was why I started with the subject that we started with yesterday can I tell you don't get used to pain Jesus is still alive don't get used to failure don't get used to poverty don't get used to defeat it is true that Jesus died but for how long He only died for three days and he resurrected in glory triumphed over death shut the mouth of Hades can I tell you this we serve a living God I know that the world today looks like is Jesus there there are all kinds of things but let me tell you sincerely the one who sits upon the throne is not scratching his head wondering what to do he is almighty now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a please rise up on your feet for he is God and God alone hallelujah hallelujah to the one upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound over the nations of the earth hallelujah this will be our anthem to the nations hallelujah the nations from thinking Jesus is dead we have an assignment to stop the nations from thinking that this faith walk is a powerless one and I want someone and anyone to join me in this campaign that we must let the nations know that he is alive we have the singular assignment of representing Jesus he's been misunderstood we have to re 
introduce him I'm going to pray for you I have just a few minutes and for many of us you have come here tonight and you have come with burdens you have come with yokes you have come with all kinds of pain it will be injustice to this message on revival if we just round up and share the grace and let you go back like that without giving his majesty an opportunity for a triumphant entry in and through your life and your destiny but please allow me to make a call and to reintroduce this Jesus perhaps there's someone here in this place tonight you came here without a definition for your life frustrated and you're saying apostle I've been hearing this thing about Jesus and I'm honestly not interested give your destiny a chance tonight and there are others who are saying apostle I love Jesus but as it is my life has gone haywire I truly need to rededicate my life before I do the general prayer I just want to take a minute or two I truly believe that there must be someone in this meeting there must be someone following from across the globe and you are saying apostle if you will give me a chance tonight I need Jesus I need him as a matter of life and death there's nothing to be ashamed of I'll count five and I want you to leave your seat and please come and stand here don't wait for someone to come before you come you know that you need him sincerely win that war of destiny and come I'll begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come someone is coming if you're coming please rush please can you stand madam or oh dear when they come they should just stand for space you don't have to kneel my friend please stand celebrate them they are coming come come to Jesus apostle I don't know if I'm saved or not come you join them shepherd of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead me I will follow and I have made a choice that I will listen for your voice wherever you may lead me I will listen I believe that you are doing this with understanding and with intention there's nothing to be ashamed of some of you are crying you're standing before Jesus the one who loves you gave himself for you he is able to give us a new beginning this is true revival when we make him the epicenter of our lives and our destinies then we are ready for a life of beauty a life of color and a life of grace it's my joy and my honor to lead you to this Jesus not another one the same Jesus who died exalted today as Lord and Christ please may I request that you lift your right hand if you can high above your head and I like you to say this convincingly you are not reciting a poem say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my King the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am the child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen let me pray for you thank you father for these ones they have come making this decision and the Bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit that you be grounded and established in righteousness and I declare that from tonight 
you go forward ever and backward never he gives you a new beginning welcome to the family of faith in jesus name i pray now please i just want you to move to my right my left which is your right let's celebrate them as they go to meet the counselors hallelujah now we're going to do this i have just about 10 minutes i don't intend to take your time please may i request pastor nat can i please request that you come and join me in this miracle service hallelujah we need this trumpet in this that will happen here right now hallelujah we're going to pray everything that does not name the name of jesus christ i want you to be ready to wave it goodbye and you must force it to wave you back in the name of jesus in one minute may i request just lift up your voice and begin to ask the lord to give you a visitation right about now go ahead right about now right about now is someone lifting his hands You deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do Miracles so great There's no one else like you Hallelujah Now hear me, there is a reason why I ask Please come Pastor Nath there's a reason why I ask. I usually would not want to embarrass him this way, but I know that there is an anointing on this chauffeur. And please hear me. As he blows this trumpet, this is what is going to begin to happen. There is an anointing. I'm seeing a separation. Please, I want you to bring those people out. As he begins to blast this trumpet, for some of you, there is a quickening, a strong impartation of grace. It's a manifestation of the power of the Spirit upon your inner man. Please, let's have those people out. And then at the same time as he's blowing that shofar, please hear me, God is going to be opening strange doors. Eight long doors that have been closed over people. Yes, sir. Please bring those people under the anointing. I tell you, I just see fire. Just move it across. Bring them out. That mantle and that grace is coming on somebody. For a man of God, there is a new season. God is opening you up. Bring them out. There is a mantle that is coming upon you. For some of this, an activation of the prophetic. That prophetic man about Atosh Tadikata. Break it to Shendekete Labaria. Please bring them out. Please bring them out. Hey. There's a release of the power of the Spirit coming upon your life. New season. New mantles. New mantles. Some of you have seen this in your dreams. You have seen this in your visions. 
Now the power of God is coming upon you. I ignite it. Let there be that activation upon your spirit man. Bring them out by the spirit of the living God. You'll never be the same tonight. By the blast of this trumpet, your spiritual ears are opening. For many of you, a miracle is happening to your hearing. Hear a barrier to A miracle is happening to your hearing. Where are they? Paradox Katosiata. Every deafness that stops you from hearing the voice of the Spirit. Let it be open right now. Let it be open right now to hear the sounds of the Spirit. Now hear me, hear me. Truly God has put a grace upon this man. And I want to leverage on that grace and release an anointing upon prophetic worshippers. There are some of you who are just singers, you are not yet worshippers. You need to master the art and the protocol of the secret place. Help them. As he blasts this trumpet, I'm telling you there will be from, from, from the front to the back, the choir, many of you who are called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry, there will be a breaking forth from within your spirit. The grace that brings songs and sounds from the spirit. May that man to rest upon you now. Take that grace now. May that man to rest upon you now. The quickening of the spirit. I release you to the realm of prophetic psalmistry. Songs from heaven, songs from the throne, songs from heaven, songs from the throne. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration that that which has left you that should not have gone there is a mystery that is bringing it back to your life therefore I prophesy mantles lost opportunities lost relationships lost by the anointing of the Holy Spirit may they begin to gravitate towards your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now hear me. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing I'm seeing a coffin and I'm seeing it dug inside the ground like a burial but then mysteriously I'm seeing it come out again and what was in it is coming out like a dead body I know that this is a prophetic message that God is bringing resurrection giftings and mantles that have died dreams that have died I'm about to pray for you I'm seeing at least the number seven. At least seven people. This anointing is coming on you. That grace that brings and makes for resurrection. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, everything that has died, we decree and declare by the Spirit. Talita Kumi. Let there be resurrection now. Help that woman, please. Talita Kumi. Let there be resurrection now. Every dead vision, every dead dream, every dead ministry hear the word of the lord the same way lazarus came forth dreams come forth visions come forth in the name of jesus christ
Hallelujah. Who is, is it victory or Victoria? I'm hearing vic, victory or Victoria. There's a name like that. I want to pray for the sick now, but just, just to talk to one or two people. Is there someone like that? Vic, is it victory or Victoria? Please make sure you, what's the name? Huh? Huh? Victoria, I want to pray for you. Please help this lady. She's under the strong influence of God's presence. I want to pray for her. This, my dear sister, listen to me. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old, for he's doing a new thing in your life in this season. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray in the name of Jesus that anointing comes upon your life. Let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus. What do you do, ma'am? Huh? I'm seeing you counting money. Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a banker. The Lord is going to lift you in a way that will surprise you. Please look at me, madam. I'm seeing problem in your office. I need to pray for you. If I don't pray for you, they will involve you in something that you have no business and they will force you, they will share. I'm seeing them share money like money was missing and they, they is that true? I know what you're talking about. You're, okay. So I'm, I want to pray for you that God will exempt you from this. I stretch my hands. Here at Reha IC, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, may the grace that lifts, lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone with the name Joshua. I presume there might be a number of people there. But I'm seeing someone, the name Joshua. Joshua. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. The name Joshua. What do you do, sir? What do you do, sir? I'm a student now. You're a student? I want to pray for you. Because what I see God doing in your life and your family will surprise you. Believe me when I tell you, you will handle wealth that will surprise you. This man, I don't know anything about you, sir. But you believe what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. I, I sense that there is a strange restoration of finances. Please believe me when I tell you this. People have lost monies in businesses. People have lost opportunities. Monies, financial opportunities that have gone. There is a hand that is calling it back. That's why we are lifting the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, all the Joshua's who are here, by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone, your mother is in the hospital right now. We're about to pray for the sick. That will be the last thing we'll do. But the Lord is showing me someone, your mom, biological mom, is in the hospital. And the Lord wants us to pray because I'm seeing the spirit of death. I, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just revealing what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, whether you are here or following online. By the mercies of the God of heaven, we extend and preserve her life. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we shut the gates of the grave. And we declare the fullness of her days she will fulfill. For those of you who are out here in the name of Jesus, may the Lord help you. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone called Agnes? Agnes, Agnes, I'm hearing the name Agnes. If you're here, your name is Agnes. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a door open. A door open, Agnes. Hallelujah. Please verify this. Is, are you sure? Someone help me. What's your name, madam? Where are you coming from? I'm from Anna Breast. I want to pray for you. I saw a door open and the Lord is opening that door for you. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, let it be for you. There is a couple. I don't know if both, uh, uh, both of them are here, but I'm seeing three years. I know it doesn't look like um, so long a time, but you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. The Lord wants to settle you now once and for all. Please, who is that? Is there, is there someone like that? Don't be ashamed. God is settling you once and for all. On this issue right now Agnes in the name of Jesus I pray for you who is that
I'll pray for you. But this is, this is not what the couple I'm seeing in my vision. But I'll still pray for you. In the name of Jesus, my dear, may the power of God touch you. In Jesus' name. Something is going to happen here now. Um, I would always, I don't, I honestly don't know why God does it. Every time He's releasing the grace for speed, people are going to start running by the Spirit. I just sense that anointing. Help them. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on people, and you will find out that you will start running by the Spirit. For many of you, you will be surprised. Ten years will come into one year, and God will grant you that speed. I stretch my hands at the count of three in the name that is above all names from the front to the back I decree right now please help them so they don't enjoy themselves my God help this woman help that madam please in the name of Jesus the son of the living God receive speed to your destiny speed in ministry speed in business every delay I stand by the voice of prophecy and I cast it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you and I agree with your wife. According to the time of life and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter what the medical condition is and i use them as a point of contact for others any anyone here trusting god whether for yourself or for your loved one trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare please bring the lady that shouts now loud under the anointing i just saw fire just from the altar there is a strong anointing please bring that lady In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy, sir. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, let this be the end of this situation. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus. Now, we're going to pray for the sick. This is the real reason why I felt stirred in my heart as the Lord gave me that instruction to just ask the man of God to come. Thank you so much, sir. We're going to pray. Let me tell you this. I truly believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a product of that healing power myself. I have been sick. I know what it means to be healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this power of witchcraft over your life, I curse it by the God of heaven. It must let you go in this atmosphere of glory. And hear me, if there is any foreign spirit gaining access to anyone's life, if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice that is under the influence of any strange spirit that is not the Christ at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus as you shout that name you wave that spirit goodbye forever are you ready now one Two, three, shout Jesus. Be delivered now, once and for all, from every power. Help, help them, please. Every spirit. This is Mount Zion. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and even holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. The name that is above every other name. Now hear me. Please lay your hands. You are trusting God for a miracle. Don't keep quiet if you know there is something the devil is using to afflict you. End it now once and for all. No matter what it is. Agree by faith. 
there is a sound that is coming Makatos I tell you I sense the power of God Aparakata Ebrentes Katia Ebrekatus Katila Kapata Mandes Kalikata Ebrekatos Katekateva Ebrekatos Katigata That everything that is not the planting of God He must give way now in your life Help them please He must give way now I want to pray for the sick. Please lay your hands right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Please believe in the healing power of Jesus. You are my hiding place. You always feel my heart with songs of deliverance kabarata shalakata barata gatibete sagata barat katos kotu brande gatele katos otu barata prata katos sata brande skuti balakusia let the wind say I am strong Now, while the shofar comes, with it comes a healing anointing. Receive your healing right now. My God, miracles are happening to people right now. High blood pressure healed in the name of Jesus. Breast lung healed in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Migraines, ulcers. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. My great headache is being healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here, hear the word of the Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every troubling genotype we change now in the name of Jesus symptoms and traces of cancer it dies now in the name of Jesus hepatitis be healed right now in the name of Jesus blood conditions of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you are having severe chest pain it doesn't matter whether you walk or not and it's beginning to affect you you are having breathing problems if this is not covid though but it's affecting you in the name of jesus the power of the holy ghost is touching you now for someone the lord is showing me it started from a dream you had a dream and from that time you have severe weakness in your body you wake up from sleep and it's as if you've not slept right now the life and the power of jesus is surging into your body now there's someone having pile pile in the name of jesus this just started it's not it's not it's not really advanced i pray for you right now that devil of pile leaves your body now there's a condition called gastritis the lord is healing someone from that condition right now please believe please believe we're almost done believe in the name of jesus there's someone your this is my left your left ear i don't know if it's that you have a problem with that left ear i'm praying for you right now wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus let there be a miracle for you now i prayed for breast lung but i'm still seeing that case again in fact for one it is multiple lungs it's not just one multiple lungs i decree and declare every planting in your body that is not of the christ i command that it lets you go now yeah. 
someone you're having severe pain with your vertebra i don't know what just back severe back pain you almost cannot bend over like this in the name of jesus i'm praying for you right now the power of god is touching you there is there is a man in this place i'm not asking you to come out but you're not you're not you're not young you should be you should not be less than 55 i'm seeing you're already seeing symptoms of prostrate what they call enlarged prostrate this is affecting you but the power of the holy spirit is coming upon you right now and i decree and declare enlarged prostrate you are of the devil leave this body now leave this body now leave this body now whether the case is mentioned or not in the name of jesus hence you have come here return with an evidence of the power of god return with an evidence of the faithfulness of god in the name of jesus christ someone your hand your like your shoulder area i'm sensing severe pain around in fact i'm feeling that pain right now i decree and declare unto you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be life and healing now in the name of jesus christ all of you who are here in front i decree and declare the impartations the deliverances the healings and everything you have received they remain permanent with you in jesus name every door that has been shut over you before now we declare over that door this night not tomorrow this night may that door be opened now and i decree and declare by the end of this conference for many of you you will stand and sing that song that pastor nat sang see what the lord has done you will array your testimonies like trophies and the nations will stand with you to celebrate the faithfulness of god let me pray for you finally everything that makes for spiritual laxity and lukewarmness prayerlessness wordlessness associations around your life that are demonic and devilish and destructive by the power that raised christ from the dead be separated from all of these things the grace to pray let it rest on you the grace to study the word of god let it rest on you high level spirituality may that grace rest on you in the name of jesus and for everyone who is a faithful worker and is connected to this vision this ministry standing by and standing with the man of god as he does what he does i pray for you we are praying for everybody but the bible declares that the worker is deserving of his wages i pray for you for the nights for the days for the moments for the sacrifices may the god of heaven who is able to reward men openly may he bring your reward speedily in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy spirit standing upon all the graces that are here present i pray for you that no one who has attended this conference will return back without a testimony let this be a new beginning for you in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you